Hey there, thanks for joining me for Bible Journaling. Today we are going to be working on day 16 of the Illustrated Faith Gratitude Documented Challenge. And today's prompt is smiles. And then our verse is from Proverbs 15, 30. And the verse says, Whoever winks with their eyes is plotting perversity. Whoever purses their lips is bent on evil. So our journaling prompts today are laughter, visible happiness, and rejoice. And so when I think of those things, I think of my little Natalie Ann. She loves life like there is no tomorrow every single minute of every day. So she is going to go into my Bible today. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to outline my verse so I don't forget. She's a constant reminder of enjoy it now. <laughs> okay, let's do. So my verse kind of goes over here. So let's go out past that so I can make like a little box around the outside. Oops, put a little bit more. Okay, so we've got that. And then I definitely want to put my word on here. So let's see, I'm planning on using, I'm thinking I'm gonna use this little pink flower and my word and then I want to use the smiles prompt and this is also this and the word Fetty are available over at the print and Perry shop and I'll make sure to put a link to those down in the description box and then I've got this leaf I was thinking about maybe using and um, maybe this word because she's full of spirit and then I wrote her a little note on the on a piece of paper and I'm going to um, glue that onto my picture and I'm going to make it flip up. So let's go ahead and attach that before I forget. So someday if she's looking through um, my Bible, she will come to her picture and when she flips it over, there is a note on the other side. Okay, I had forethought today. I remember since I was pretending the picture, I made sure that I wanted to um, put um, the note on there. I thought of it beforehand. Last week I forgot. Okay, so we're gonna do pink. Let's do. Oh, let's do blue for the words for the thankful because we got a lot of pink and we got some blue. So let's go ahead and use that. I think I used the blue yesterday too. Blue and pink are evidently my favorite two colors so far. Okay, let's go ahead and get some ink on here. And I'm going to stamp that. Let's see if we can flatten the page a little bit. Let's go like this. And I'm going to pick the page up and kind of smush it from the back a little bit just to make sure. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. And then let's wipe it off. I remember to get my um, stamp chamois wet today. Okay, and then let's dry this with our heat tool real quick. And then I'm gonna 
outline it. And let's see, did I bring a little piece of paper in here? I'm going to set this over the top of it just in case I didn't get it all dry. And then I wanted to worry about getting it on my arm and moving it around. Whoops, got a little skinny on that one. That's all right. But I did get the little F stamp pretty good this time. It's kind of touch and go on that F. All right, so my thought is that I'm going to use this flower here to hang off the page for my tab. So I'm going to kind of stick that right here, maybe. And then I want to have smiles right here. And then I'm going to put little Natalie right down here. And I'm going to use some washi tape to attach her. So let's go ahead and do that now. And let's use this pink one. And if I kind of attach it over here, then if you flip it up, you will be able to see um, the word. So let's do that. Oops. That wasn't very straight. Okay. Look here, Washi. Get off there. Okay, let me set this down here a minute. Let's put the washi on first so that I can make sure I get it on there straight. That way I can leave kind of a little border on the outside here like I did on the other side. And if I attach this over here, then when you flip it up, you will be able to see all the journaling or the writing underneath. I think I'm going to put another piece just because. There, then it can flip up a little bit better. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and attach this flower because I know I want to use that. And I don't have very many little tabs right behind here, so my thought is that if I stick it right here, then the little tab won't take up. It'll have some space there. So I'm getting quite a few tabs on the side. And this flower is from the Bible journaling, um, gratitude Bible journaling kit. Let's see here. Remember, when you put this sticker paper, once you stick it down, that's what you get. <laughs> so make sure it's where you want it. You cannot peel that back up. All right. 
die. And then I want to put my words on from my word fetty. So let me grab those. Pick up some of this stuff here. Okay, so we've got rejoice. Visible happiness. That definitely describes Natalie. And when she's laughing, she's loving it. And then we've got our verse. And smiles. So let's put um, our smiles and our verse over here on the flower. And I want to put this little, I'm thinking I'm not going to put this on here. I'll take that off. Still want to kind of use this. Hmm, let's see. about like that okay but let's do um I'm gonna use this yellow yeah let's use that let's use yellow underneath this one here so I'm going to take this but I'm gonna attach it right here so I'm gonna go ahead and just A kind of an outline for the word to sit on. Oops, I have to be wider than that. Now, this, instead of outlining it today, we'll try something new. Mr. Hobby Haven suggested it. Let's do pink, maybe for this rejoice. And I did, I forgot to say that, I did um, gesso my page beforehand, so there is um, gesso on there. That's why the pen kind of is streaky. And let's do, let's do this yellow one for, oh, the pink one was um, 129 Pink Matter Lake. And the yellow one is 184, oh, 184, what is it called? Dark Naples Ochre. Let's flip this up. Yeah, and then spirit. Let's put 
I think I'm going to put this right like this. I mean, I'm going to cut off this little, it's got some little um, thing right here. Let's cut this off. Oops. I have to cut my finger. Because these, tens, these scissors are sharp. Okay, I think I'm going to put her, or this one, like this. Oops, I probably should put, um, whoops, let me see. Not this. I think since I'm going to attach it to the picture, whoops, let me wipe the glue off. I better put this tape runner on there. That would probably stick a little bit better, I'm thinking, with the picture. And then you can use the little end of the word there to flip it up. And that will leave me room over here to journal up here and right here. So I'm liking that. So let's put today's, put a date down here. I always do that. And so there is day 16. I hope you had fun Bible journaling today, and I will see you tomorrow for day 17. Have a great day. Bye-bye.